What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name's Brad and this is Be Modified. So as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be painting the brake calipers on the SS here today. If you guys can tell, they have been painted before. Somebody tried to color match the truck and uh, it just is time for them to be redone. I don't know if they just didn't do a very good job, but you can see it's been red before that even. And back here on the back ones, unfortunately we have brake drums on the back here i wish they were disc all the way around but it is what it is and you can see that this paint has chipped off a lot as well so that's the plan for today we're going to pull this truck in the garage jack it up on four jack stands pull all the wheels off and start prepping this thing so let's go ahead and get the truck pulled in the garage here and then we'll get to it all righty guys as you can see we got the truck in the garage but unfortunately my garage is so small that there's not much space for me to work with my jack and getting this truck up on jack stands and moving the back tires over here it's even worse than the other side so rather than record going through all that hassle for you guys i'm going to go ahead and get this done get the truck jacked up on jack stands and get the wheels pulled off and then i'll get back with you guys and we'll go ahead and get started on painting them brake calipers all right guys, so as you can see, we got the truck up on jack stands, taking all of our wheels off all the way around the truck. So now what we're gonna do is work on getting this brake caliper off of both sides in the front. And the back has drums, like I showed you earlier. So we're just gonna leave those on and tape the studs up on the back. So the first thing we're gonna do here is remove this bolt. That way we can have this line free to take as far as we want as long as we don't mess with that right there. If not, we'll just go ahead and unclip that too. So I'm gonna get that bolt out and then we can move on to this one. And then there's one clear down there at the bottom. Take both those out and then we should be able to just pull this whole unit off. By the way, that's a, a uh, 10 millimeter. Let me see what we got. I believe these are connected. It's connected to this bracket right here with that one. Just, I think we can just wiggle it right out of there. Oh, there we go. You gotta pull it up out of the holes. There's these little tabs, these little tiny tabs on the bottom. You gotta make sure you pull it up out of the hole and then swing it out. All right, now we should be able to get to those, this bolt and the bottom one. Okay, guys, what I ended up doing and this may not be a problem for those of you who have stock ride height, but my truck is lowered. So I tried a deep well 18, didn't work either. So what I got going on now is went back to the regular 18 and I went with one of these swivel extensions. And that is allowing me to get in there and do what I need to do. Now the question is, can I get it broke loose? Oh, there we go. Woo, that was tight. All right, guys, now we have an issue of not being able to get the brakes off. The reason it's a bit of an issue, I believe, is because I had the, I did have the parking brake set. I may have to get me a screwdriver, see if I can't pry those off of there. All right, I don't know if this will actually work. I think it will. Just be real gentle with it. You can see that my line's getting tight. Got to keep an eye on that stuff. There it goes. Now, this is what the bucket is for. You're gonna set this on top of the bucket because there's really nowhere else for it to go. And you don't want it just hanging there on that line. So I'm gonna do this to the other side on the front and then jump on the back here real quick. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do there. Let me get my flashlight. All right, so back here on the back, like I was showing you guys before, we got the brake drums back here. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Man, that paint's flaking off, it's terrible. All right, so, so back here, we're just gonna tape the studs. And then you can see I have plastic pre-cut. I got some up on the front on the hood too as well. I'm just gonna like drape it where it overhangs both sides of the fender well. 
and then it, I'm gonna let it come back through the back here back behind this and just hang there that way we don't cover anything in here with a bunch of blue paint like I said same thing with the front I'm gonna take this plastic and do the same thing drape it all through the back here and then I have another little piece of plastic to go ahead and cover up this rotor right here so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side pulled off like I was saying get the back ones taped up and I'll be back with you guys so we can start this painting process so as you can see I went ahead and took the brake pads out they're right down here and I also took the little metal clips out um, they're kind of a pain to get out without bending but if you take your time and have some patience you can get them out without messing them up. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the brake calipers with my little wire brush here on my drill. See if we can get most of that paint off of there, which we really need to get all of it off of there if we can. And then we'll clean it up with some uh, brake cleaner or degreaser works too. A degreaser is better, but brake cleaner is what I got and it works really well also. And then once we get out of that done, we'll be able to start laying down some paint. We've got the paint cleaned off of everything, so now we just need to go around, clean them all up with our wax and grease remover, and then we can start painting. So now that we're ready to paint everything, I just wanted to let you guys in on how I'm going to do this in my little one car garage with pretty much no ventilation, and it's the winter time, which means we have to keep the garage warm somehow. So what's going to happen here is, in between coats of paint I'm gonna be running my heater because it's an open flame and I really don't think it's safe to run that while I'm painting in between coats of paint I'm just gonna crack the garage door use this fan right here to suck the fumes out and then once the fumes are clear I'll close the garage door back down kick the heater back on for a minute because as you guys know we're gonna be using our metal cast paint here as you can see we've got our base coat our color coat and then we've got our clear coat now for each one of these we're gonna do three coats and each coat has to sit for 10 minutes before you can apply the next coat. So that's the plan here. We're going to put a coat on, suck the fumes out, turn the heater back on for 10 minutes, and then repeat the process, so on and so forth, for the next hour and a half as we lay down three coats of each color of paint over there. So one more tip before we start painting, guys, is you always want to have your cans of paint in some warm water before you start painting. It just helps the paint spray a lot better, a lot smoother, especially in the winter time. With that being said, As you can see, we got the paint job done, and it turned out pretty good for a cold garage spray can job. That metal cast really does come out quite nice. If you come back here to the back, you can tell right here that we had a problem with it running a little bit. And down on the bottom side as well. It's the same on the other side too. And I think the reason for that is because, for one, I laid the paint on a little too heavy. And for two, I don't think my parts were warm enough I think they were just way too cold and that kind of played a pretty big factor in it as well so what I decided to do is I don't know if you can tell or not I decided not to put the clear coat on because I figure once springtime gets here and it gets a lot warmer outside I can just sand it back down and redo it and we'll be able to achieve a lot better finish than this because although the blue does look awesome I'm really not happy with that but for now, that's what we're going to go with. So, I'm going to get the front calipers put back on. 
we'll throw the wheels on and pull this thing out in the sunlight and The sun is going down on us pretty quick here, but I have to say these calipers turned out pretty amazing. Even though we're going to be redoing them, because we do have that paint run as you can see right there a little bit better now. And right there. But either way, they look really good. They stand out really, really well just like I wanted them to. So now that we got our calipers done, the next thing I'm probably going to do is make all my SS's around the truck blue. Just to kind of complement the two colors make it stand out a little bit more because i just feel like there's not enough blue there and i really like that blue so got our ss on the back tailgate of course we'll do it too that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video guys so thank you all for stopping in i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it for you guys make sure you smash that like button don't forget to share and just like that we'll catch you guys in the next one